the head collective welcome to my channel thank you for watching as always let's go ahead and get into this reading let's see what message we're supposed to be receiving today what does spirit have to say to us i hope you all are doing okay okay so we have the queen of pentacles coming out uh so, th so this could be you or this is in regards to someone that is in relation to you um the queen of pentacles usually has to do with someone that is down to earth someone grounded someone easy to talk to someone focused on their finances um oh we have a queen of pentacles that is in sorrow someone may have lost quite a lot of finances or someone is going through some emotional loss right now due to some actions they either took or someone took against them this could be someone toxic as we have the devil on the bottom of this um deck so this could be someone that is experiencing some type of loss that may have intended this for someone as apparently it's an emotional loss um and the queen the two of cups does not always have to do with romance it can also have to do with business collaborations and unions like and things like that so someone may have either lost a job position or someone lost a really good relationship and it could be that maybe this woman or whoever this is because we know in tarot uh energy is fluid right so this could be a man in his uh queen of pentacles energy but he or she lost some type of relationship that was really uh essential to them and maybe they took it for granted and they're coming to the realization about this but this queen of pentacles is in remorse due to the loss of a relationship or a connection or maybe just a business opportunity maybe something was brought to light about this woman or whoever she was in connection to maybe that person saw the true side of this uh queen of pentacles and they don't want anything to do with her um let's see we had a bunch of cars that fell out oh yeah someone is experiencing the ending there is some type of big change that is going on with this person i guess it would be the both of them the two people involved in this collaboration or this union um when we look at the two of cups as far as relationships these are like soul twins right this is a relationship where the emotions are re reciprocated um or it's supposed to be reciprocated so maybe initially when these two got together the emotions or the situation, whatever was going on was reciprocated, but it changed later on. Or this queen of pentacles could have been pretending to be something that she was not um, and maybe was let go. Um, and she's going through a lot of emotional distress over this. It could be that she was relying on this other person for finances. The fact that she showed up as a queen of pentacles mean that she was financially stable and it could have been due to her being in connection with this other person. But she is going through some type of change. There is an ending that she is uh, experiencing. Um, and this could have to do with her finances. So the fact that maybe she was with this person for their finances means that it's coming to an end. She now has to fend for herself, maybe get a job. Because you know there are people out here that don't really work and they rely on their partners for finance. And I'm not saying that in a negative term. Because we have women out here that are stay-at-home moms or don't have to work because they take care of the home front while their partners work but then we have to be realistic and know that we also have the gold diggers out here that rely on their partners for money and don't want to work they'll they prefer to lay on the couch and be a couch potato while the partner puts in the work and then they benefit off of the hard labor that their partner um is putting in but this person is experiencing some type of ending um they were hoping to celebrate with this person so this this other person could have been having some type of bounty coming towards them right so all of the hard work their partner put in could have been leading to a celebration and this queen of pentacles was expecting to celebrate with this partner right but there's an ending that is coming in that's going to lead to success for someone someone is stepping out on faith to make new connections right someone is stepping out on faith to uh form new friendships new business collaborations to celebrate with new friends and things like that because the three of cups usually has to do with celebration uh going to social events so someone is putting an end to the past in order to step into the new right form new business collaborations go to you know social events meet new people share with other people whether it be ideas finances resources and things like that so someone is stepping into a brand new reality for themselves 
Um, you can also expect for some of you queen of pentacles that are not in the wrong, uh, where this is not bad karma. You are experiencing an ending in a, a relationship that just was not going anywhere, but you're about to be connecting with new people that will give you the opportunity to meet better better minded people like minded people as you so this sorrowful time you're going through is coming to an end um and you're going to be maybe invited to a social event where you'll meet someone new or just a new group of people that will help you elevate and stand in a better light you could be meeting a, queen, a king of cups um for some of you that you know, you're going to be celebrating with maybe this king of cups wants to give to you or you want to give to this king of cups Either way, you two are going to be celebrating together. This person may have some emotions for you that you are not aware of, and they're going to be connecting with you so that they can make their emotions known to you. So for some of you, this could be someone from your past that you will be reconnecting with, and it does not have to be an ex-lover. It can just have to do with someone that maybe you met in the past, but due to the circumstances you two were in, you were not able to form any type of relationship as far as romantic but because your situations have came to an end you two are stepping out on faith right this is a brand new passionate beginning for the two of you you two are leaving your burdens behind or this is what this king of cups is doing leaving his burdens behind to step out on faith the fact that you the king the queen of pentacles has some type of emotional loss going on and financial loss going on as well for some of you this means that both of you are experiencing an ending this king of cups may have already uh, experienced his heartbreak and all of that and has already chosen to step out on faith meet someone new or you know collaborate with new people leave the past behind him and then you you are coming out of this as well so the two of you can expect to be meeting at some point or reuniting at some point you two may be building um for the for the ones of you that are not experiencing bad karma but just going through a change that is necessary for something new to come in you two could be uh, building something but just on your separate journeys and when you two come together you will manifest something new a brand new reality that you will not have been able to manifest alone i kid you not we have the lover's car out here so the two of you have emotions for each other um and this is a decision that you have made to step out on faith and um, this two of uh, i mean this lover's car is letting me know that you two have some um sex what <laughs> i don't want to say the word on here but you have some intimate uh feelings going on for each other um there's a lot of lust and things going on but i'm not saying that it's lust as though like the, your emotions are irrelevant or this is just some type of relationship that's going to be based on superficiality as far as when it comes to physical things this is going to be something genuine this is something passionate and divinely guided the two of you coming together, this union is going to be something that will be protected by the universe, by the cosmos. I'm hearing that there is a purpose for the two of you being together on a very grand scale. So you two are going to be maybe healing other people together when you come to, when you come, when you uh, unite, right? You'll be creating a reality where people will be able to see what genuine connections, connections actually look like and what it means to actually live in your truth and experience love in its fullness. Um, so someone has chosen, basically the both of you have chosen to step out on faith. You can expect to receive a message from someone coming in quickly. Um, for some of you, this could be a, a message that your ancestors want to give you because we have the angel on here that's blowing the horn. So this could be a message that's going to reveal to you who your partner is supposed to be, who you can expect to be forming this new bond with this uh, new contract being fulfilled with because the people you were with in the past failed their end of the contract. So you two are being united to come together and fulfill a purpose. Um, you two are, you know, healing um not just separately but you're going to be healing together so the two of you will be healing each other right um not just in a, a mental uh not just in the mental aspect but also in the emotional just the overall well-being of each other you'll be healing each other right so one of you is extremely mentally balanced and the other one is emotional you the queen of pentacles you are someone that is extremely mental you're down to earth um you're easy to talk to and things like that this is something this king of cups is going to appreciate about you 
Um, and you, the King of Cups, you are someone that is emotional, very genuine at heart, very passionate about the people you have in your life, people you hold dear to your heart. And this Queen of Pentacles is going to appreciate this emotional aspect of you. Maybe because this is something their partner was lacking in you, maybe what this Queen of Pentacles possesses is something that your ex-partner was lacking. So you two are going to fulfill those departments for each other. It could have been that maybe you wanted, you the King of uh, Cups, wanted a family unit, wanted someone that was kind of uh, traditional in the sense, uh, focused on love and the family front and things like that. And this, these are characteristics of the Queen of Pentacles. They're very family focused. As I said, you two will be coming together to build a new reality. You'll have success together. So you have some beautiful things coming ahead of you. Um, but you two will not be able to manifest this new life without each other. This is not something that you can manifest by yourself, right? This abundance, this legacy. I heard the word legacy come to mind as well. Someone is in, in, stuck in their head about this connection coming together, this union coming together. So there could have been someone uh, uh, blocking this from coming into existence, but it is coming into existence. For someone, I just heard there is a queen of pentacles that is being left behind by a, uh, I mean, there's a queen of pentacles that is being left behind by a king of cups. And she is devastated by this. This could be the person that is in a mental conflict about this union. Maybe this person thought because they were a certain way, this masculine was going to stick with them and choose them over you. Um, but that's not how it's going. This person could have stole from this masculine or was just using this masculine for money, but he has chosen to put an end to this union with her uh, so that he can move forward and have a brand new passionate beginning with someone. Um, and she's having quite a hard time. I don't want to disregard that I see the nine of wands on the bottom. That means that someone was protecting your finances from another person. Uh, so someone was with a a gold digger and i hate to use that term but we are going to call it what it is because that word that term keeps coming to my mind and i don't want to disregard whatever message spirit is putting in my head of uh, feeding me uh, but of course i want to be mindful of how i give my message because i don't want to you know um dis be disrespectful with my messages and things like that i would like to be considerate because i know things happen here okay you see this a brand new passionate beginning i kid you not you have inspiring news coming in. There's a positive news that's coming in that's going to help you live in a better light, right? So you're someone extremely authentic, very spiritual, down to earth, and things like that. Uh, you could be someone that is gifted as well. Um, but you have a message coming in. It, it could be that this message is coming in from this King of Cups. Um, they want to talk to you. They want to express their emotions for you. But some of you, this could be maybe your boss that has interest in you. This could be someone you go to church with, someone you go to school with, but this is someone that is in a very beautiful position in their life and they see you as someone extremely genuine, someone kind, someone authentic, um, and they admire this about you, but they want to tell you their truth. So maybe they just want to tell you, hey, I would like to take you out for dinner or I would like to you know, do this with you. It may throw you up a little bit because you're not expecting to hear this kind of message from this person. But do know that there is a message coming in. This person may want to spoil you. I know the Seven of Cups usually has to do with illusions and things like that. But it can also has to do have to do with gift giving. So someone may want to give you some type of gift. I'm not surprised this Three of Wands came back out. Um, they want to give to you. Someone wants to spoil you for a lot of you women out there. Um, that's watching this message. There is a masculine that wants to come into your life and spoil you. This person loves you. Um, like they love you in a way that wouldn't even make sense to people that didn't understand these types of emotions. So it may even throw you off. But this person wants to give to you and kind of talk to you as well about building a life together. Now, this is not going to happen overnight. You two are going to connect and then build a friendship and it's going to lead to something extremely beautiful over time. Uh, this person is just waiting for the right time to send this message to you and they are hoping that you will respond in a better light right so you see we have the two of cups out here we have the full card and then we have the three of wands you can see the progress in this this person wants to connect with you so that you two can step out on faith and have success together you see how beautiful that is that is extremely beautiful 
This person is coming out of sorrow, um, standing in their King of Cups energy. Um, and then this is going to help them live in their truth. It's going to, you know, revigorate them, uh, give them a new energy, right? Help them, you know, help them, help, help them embrace their inner child that is within them because they haven't been able to embrace that in a very long time because of the person that they were with before. But some way, somehow this person knows that you can bring that out of them because they see you as a breath of fresh air, right? Now we have the queen of pentacles here. This could be, um, Re this will be you in the situation this is going to put you in this light as well you're going to be connecting with new people and you're going to be having a good message coming in good news coming in to you right um so you can see the progress in all of these messages all these lineups and things like that for clarity on how everything is going to turn out for the both of you there is hesitation here um, someone, uh, I'm getting the masculine energy, is someone that tends to be in his head quite a lot. So just be mindful of that. When you get with this masculine, just know that he is someone that tends to overthink everything. He may struggle with anxiety, um, but this is someone that is well-tempered. This is just someone that worries a lot because they want things to go the way they have it planned in their head. They are afraid of things going wrong. This person is afraid of disappointment. It's what I just heard. Um, so they're really, really scared of reaching out to you. They don't want you to turn them down or to reject them. But this person is well-mannered. Well this is an emotionally and a mentally balanced person that is uh, looking for equal give and take in whatever connections they're having with someone. And the next person they want to be with is you. So they are hoping that they can work with you not just romantically but business wise you two will be on like a team right they want to have a team with you uh, so you'll be not just work partners but love partners as well so basically life partners and i'm not talking about will and jada or all these celebrities out here i'm talking about something extremely genuine and divinely guided okay um we have the emperor out here so this person is going to be bring balance in your life as well. This person is showing up as a lot of different energies in this reading. They showed up as the King of Cups. They showed up as the Temperance card. They're showing up as the Emperor. So you have someone extremely gentle-minded, gentle-hearted, someone very balanced. It's very rare to see this in a reading about a masculine energy, energy being distempered. This is someone that has put in a lot of work on their personality themselves over the time um, you may have inspired this person as well to take themselves a little bit more serious and you are not aware of that um, sometimes you know when we're dealing with the wrong people we will tend to neglect ourselves so maybe because we have a specific type of mindset and we end up with people that do not have those mindsets as us we tend to think that something is wrong with us and we need to change how we think how we feel but no you have inspired this masculine to take himself a little bit more serious in life. It could be even that he owns his own business and was not taking that business serious before, but because of his interaction with you or just him seeing you or meeting you, it has encouraged him to change his life around. So now this person is focused on establishing boundaries in his life, establishing law, being direct, being a person of their word having higher moral character or just being themselves because this is this person naturally but because of the people they were dealing with it did not enable him to be that person now i want you to see how we went from the death car okay and then we have the, the lover's car out here and we have the uh, temperance car out here that is a beautiful prog progress right this person is putting an end to the past. You're putting an end to the past and you two are coming together as one, right? And you're going to work together as a team. The temperance card does not always have to do with you behaving yourself, being mild manner and things like that. It has to do with either two or more people coming together and working together as a team to manifest a reality or a creation that is long lasting. So you can see the beautiful progress in that there is a message coming in i'm telling you this masculine one within about something to see the truth okay this is someone extremely wise they may have even sought uh sought i mean uh 
advice from a mature person in their life as well but this is someone extremely wise okay this is a good sign so this could be someone more mature than some of you and you may not um know it this may be why they're hesitant to even come towards you because they're a little bit more older than you so they're afraid of making their feelings known to you because they're afraid of being rejected this is coming in pretty quickly this is going to ensure victory for the both of you yep there is someone trapped in their mind about this union coming together but it's not going to be stopped it is moving forward the wheel of karma is moving in the forward position this is someone of high moral character someone who has something going on with legalities as far as courts but it looks like everything is going to be okay um, anyways, this is what you can expect to be coming into you. There is an ending going on for you and a new beginning that is starting for the book, the both of you as well. And it is coming in pretty quickly and will in, enable the both of you to take charge of your life and stay present and to keep moving forward. <sighs> that was a lot. Anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.